I just want to take this opportunity before the video starts to thank everybody who reached out to not only myself but my husband through YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and text messages. Um, in the last 15 months we have lost three of our fur babies. Um, first we lost Marley. He was 15 and he had his health issues and he lived a very good life. Um, we had to make the unfortunate tough decision to put our 16 year old Yorkie Brutus down um, because he was declining rapidly and his quality of life wasn't there and we just couldn't let him suffer. He, he was a sweet boy. Both of them were. Um, I have wanted a uh, German Shepherd for as long as I could remember. And I was blessed to have Mika for such a short period of time. Mika was born with a heart murmur and I assumed that she would outgrow it because our little Ellie had a heart murmur and she outgrew hers. Um, not exactly sure. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that her heart just couldn't take the amount of play that she had on the 19th of this month. I worked tirelessly trying to get her and um, my male Shih Tzu Finn to get along. They were like oil and, and water. Uh, they just didn't mix. But I started to get them to come together and they started playing together and I know the day before the 19th Finn was initiating play in the house and then on the 19th we were out working on our flower beds and I looked over and Finn was bouncing and he they do this little hoppy hop. If you, anybody knows anything about Shih Tzus, they like to do this little hoppy hop with, to start playing. Well, Finn was doing that with Mika and finally Mika took off and started chasing Finn and they were just having the time of their lives. And they played like that for several hours. We were just about ready to finish up in the, the front of our house and my husband says, that he'd just seen Mika less than 10 minutes before that using the potty and, and wagging her tail. Well, he, he went to put the tools back that we were finished with and I heard him scream and my name and I ran as fast as I could and I didn't know what I was gonna run around the corner and see. Uh, but when I seen it was Mika, I fell to my knees and I screamed. Um, we tried everything uh, to get her heart to go again. My husband administered CPR and we massaged her heart. And was, she was she was already passed. This video is to honor her. This is the last video Mika was in. Uh, I had a comment from a friend that says, "Next time you post a video, make sure Mika's in it." And I wanted to make sure that Mika was. My husband was kind enough to do this video to give me a break. Because um, I've been just so busy and stressed, you know, after losing Brutus a couple weeks prior. And he was just trying to give me a time to clear my head. And he says, this way you can spend it with Mika and, and the other dogs and the boys. And, and I was so, I was grateful. Uh, but in this video, you'll see her throughout. And, uh she makes her little appearances in the background so please watch the entire video in, in honor of her and at the end she has a very special message for a friend that we met through the GTG which is the Firewood Horrors Club um, so John she does have a special message for you and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you enjoy this video God bless everyone Hi Guest Turner here I'm learning from Tanya, so I figured I'd turn a bull for the second time in a year. I asked her if I could turn for her today. She didn't have a problem with that. Um, don't be too hard on me. I don't turn very often. I grabbed a piece of curly maple. Uh, it's milled 1027 of 22. 
Uh, I believe it had been down for about eight or nine months before that. Uh, if you look at the outside of the bowl, uh, there's a lot of figuring in it and it's really pretty. Um, I wanted to leave a natural edge and there is some cracks in it and I wanted to leave those natural. Normally we fill those uh, in about any manner we come up with, but I just wanted to leave it uh, to leave the bowl natural. That's really nice through there. So I'm going to put uh, a couple of coats of tried and true on here. I have one on the outside, but me being an amateur that I am, um, I really put sanding sealer heavy on the inside because this big crack was flexing and I couldn't get a clean cut with the bowl gouge. So I'm going to sand it. Um, but the sanding sealer ran outside of the crack over my tried and true. So I'm going to have to hit that with 400 again and then reapply two coats to the outside, two coats to the inside. Uh, tried and true is... I don't know, it, it's a very nice finish. Tanya uses it a lot. Uh, the new one, Water Locks, if you can figure it out, that one is outstanding. Um, and Tanya's only been using a satin finish, but once we get the gloss, I can only imagine the shine you will see on that. Well, and then my last week's video, how shiny just the satin got was just amazing. It was really nice. 
Um, I had to leave for work here in a few hours, but uh, I wanted to try to do something, uh, give Tanya a little bit of break, and then I could show you my very low level skills of turning. So stick around for the glam shots, and I'm, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for letting my husband be the guest turner on this. I'm sure that <laughs> I'm sure that he will make some other appearances throughout my YouTube videos. And she'll show a picture of my bowl I turned a few weeks ago. It's yes. only two times in a year. So yes. check it out. All right. I will post uh, glam shots at the end. So you guys all have a, a wonderful <laughs> weekend. Uh, God bless. Take care. Goodbye. And make sure you check out my knives. Oh, yes. I will give you a quick glance at what he's been working on here. This is just some, this is a stone washing that he does. If you've seen the short of his stone washing thing that he uses on my lathe, that's what a stone washed knife looks like versus not stone washed. That's all. No more looking. Nope, you're cut off. No more looking at my blades. And then there's Mika. Mika, you want to say, say hi to everybody? Make sure you say hi to John Wargo. Say hi to John Wargo, Mika. <laughs> There you go. All right, John, she said hi to you. All right, guys, bye.